These anime jits are not fucking children. They are literal demons that look like kids. Welcome to Must Be Stopped. We finna go through all these kids, no EDP, and look at their most demonic moments. Let's not waste no time. Later on, this nigga was mad that him and Guan had a widow fright over if he should fuck murder a bug and a child in cold blood so to blow off some steam he literally went and found the biggest nigga he could and just kicked him in the goddamn face this man is literally ant arnold schwarzenegger and killer did not care he wanted all the smoke that nigga said bro please bro why are you doing Oh shit, my power's gone. Sayonara, nigga. Bro left and started drinking. What? What is he drinking? Is that titty milk from my new partner, Gamer Subs? More about them later. All right, so now we're going back to the first arc so I can explain why this kid must be stopped. He's fighting the infamous Cock Strangler who is serving 10K levels of prison time. Like my nigga, 968 years? Just give that nigga the electric chair at that point, bro. What the fuck? Kilo wasn't even scared. He moving like Dora just asked him a question and he already know the answer. Who's about to catch a body today? It's Shmi, nigga. So how would you like to die? <laughs> die what are you talking about <laughs> you know who i am i went around strangling niggas with my comedically large penis for decades this isn't even gonna be a fight hey, yoink <laughs> straight up boot gang this dude's heart out of his chest like he was stealing candy from a baby except this time was a grown-ass nigga <laughs> what I, I didn't even get to whip my cock out flawless victory fatality well, I don't want this nasty ass shit. Hey, you! Wanna come play? <laughs> Fuck no, you got it, big bro. Fast forward to the Bugs from Hell arc. Kilo is hiding in these bushes on some Metal Gear Solid shit. Trying to hide from this bug that looks like he's abusing the can too. This nigga's disciples try and jump him. Starting with this dickhead who's literally rolling a shit ball at him. I thought it was gonna be that easy to pack Kilo up. Jit twisted this nigga's head off like a fidget spinner. Grown ass Bugs trying to gangbang him. But this little ass nigga is just trying to run up his KDA. Got that nigga. Turned around. Double kill. Broke that nigga's shit. <laughs> Triple kill. <laughs> Poke the fat one in the head. Whoops, forgot one. Let like, god damn, bro. Mr. Doodoo trying to dip, saying, oh, retreat, niggas, retreat. But this nigga Kilo is on his ass, about to pack him up, but... <laughs> I farted on that nigga. <laughs> Grown ass fucking insect farted on this nigga, man. Kilo will not letting that shit slide, but as he's running, about to get his get back. Damn, that's going in the Fortnite montage. Turns out there's a goofy ass nigga just sitting on top of some fucking hill camping. No way he's inflating his ball stacks to snipe him. Kilo's not gonna let some camper mess up his KD. So he finds him standing all confident and shit and starts chasing his ass down. Found this guy sitting over here like, It's a trap, it's a trap. Come into my trap if you want. Shut up, nigga. Die. Now this little jit is fucking cold. So he pulls out these tentacles on his kid, paws, trying to kamikaze this little nigga's KDA, and he calls his homies to come eat him up, but these dumbass fish eat the wrong man. He little escaped covered in tentacles. He's too nice with it. I hope y'all ain't forget the madness this nigga did at the Heavens Arena. Him and Gon were literally bodying grown ass men the same way Rod Wave bodies Big Macs. Would you believe me if I told you that little ass jit Killua beat up a fucking disabled nigga? It all started when these three dickheads tried to press them so Kula snuck into this nigga's room put a knife to his head and was like wiggle your toes you're packed blink you're packed nigga if i even smell your stank ass breath you're packed if you come brandy piss yourself big ass nigga if i see your melted cum face ass tomorrow i will pack you up so fast your disabled homie's legs will grow back capiche Yes, sir. Dude was so scared he caught the next train home and called his homies telling them under no circumstances should they fuck with Killua. They ain't listen though. Alright everybody, today's battle's a real spectacle. Killua versus what appears to be Joe Swanson. I can't lie, I don't think this is safe, but get to boxing. This little nigga was on timing immediately. Went for dude's neck, but he got that coop de burst and wheels himself away. So then he pulls out these snakes. They, they look like they're made out of licorice, I can't lie. And he's like, you thought I had a disability, huh? Nah, nigga, I got this ability to whoop your fucking ass. Man, that shit was so corny. Take this. Man, give me that shit. You thought this was tough? Nah, but this is and he starts electrocuting this little nigga. Joe Swanson over there thinking he won, but Kilo is like, yes. sends dude into the sky, and as he's falling, he's like, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Yeah! This nigga's body dropped to the floor tweaking. Nah, this little nigga's a menace. 
Alright, so next up, we got this absolute hell spawn of a child. First time we see the little nigga, he's pressing Riza. Riza? Fuck it, I'm just gonna call her Riz. Anyway, so Riz found out his true identity, and he's not gonna let that shit slide. So the little nigga starts sneaking these black ass shadow tentacles out like it's Don't Starve. And Shorty has the audacity to ask, Hey, are you a human kid? Bitch, are you brain dead? Now, all these obviously evil shadow tentacles coming out of the little nigga are just BBC hallucinations you're having. Like, what the fuck? What kind of dumbass question is that? Anyways, moving on. This jit catches one of anime's most deadbeat dads lacking in the tunnel and turns this whole shit into temple run hey grab them coins my boy dude really tried to spike trap the little nigga but he just busts through it like he's the kool-aid man god damn okay let me try again oh yeah so now he's cornered and he's like ah shit i'm really about to get cooked by jit this is crazy dude went full horror movie victim and tripped off some random particle but just as he's about to get packed he finds out that pride can't go too far away from the little jit's body bro was literally an inch from changing the entire storyline okay so now this is when we really find out how much of a demon this little nigga is these three amigos are chilling in the woods when alfon pops out of nowhere edward's all excited like oh shit it's my nigga yes yes your nigga hey come over here to this um murder corner so i can murder you real quick that's not your nigga bro huh oh nigga. pride had alfon's tweaking off on perk 30. anyway so he's about to put these niggas on hentai haven but edward goes and packs up all the lights in the village which removes his bbc tentacles and while this j is quote unquote defenseless they get this mufasa ass nigga to jump him did this nigga just eat a swipe from a lion? No, nah, what the fuck? He's taking all these hits without even flinching, bro. Anyway, so while all this is going on, Gluttony is getting absolutely violated by this Oni Genji looking ass nigga. His fat ass trying to run away, but you know damn well he's not making it far, bro. They start jumping him and shit, blew that nigga straight to smithereens, and then we cut back to the little jit, who is still currently absolutely tanking all these hits. Like, this nigga is literally getting choked, and he's just staring at him like, man, get your weak ass paws off me. Your breath stank. Then as he's about to continue, you, these two NPCs appear ready to sell this nigga. J just smiles when he sees the light and he's like, <laughs> Yeah, you're cooked, Mufasa. Long live the king, bitch ass nigga. Yo, those two pissed me off. What goddamn business do they have in the woods at like fucking 2 a.m.? They just come out here to sell my nigga and dip. Just before he packed Mufasa up, Edward comes in ready to main character this bitch and he's actually putting up a fight against the little fucking demon. But this jit does not want peace. He wants problems always. Little nigga went and possessed Alphonse again and was like, Yeah come kill your brother but edward calls on the one thing that can deal with an anime jit and that's an anime old head throwing flashbacks they start throwing these flashbacks to stop him from using his powers and then this nigga comes in like hey i think it's whopper wednesday what Dang. My eye! man this nigga is sorry as hell <laughs> hmm hey fat ass yeah how would you like to be on h anime this little nigga ate his younger brother just because didn't even think twice about it and look at him he's smiling wow now I can pack all you fodder ass niggas up with ease. Oh wait, I think it is Whopper Wednesday. Anyway, so shit starts getting serious. This little nigga's BBC tentacles are on a whole new level now, and he's whipping them all around all willy nilly. Got Greed Link doing backflips trying to dodge, and I can't lie, they all looking cooked until Papa Deadbeat returns again. I think it's about time I return with the milk. And he just stands and stops there with his hands in his pockets cooking. But then all of a sudden, Alphonse comes out of nowhere trying to sneak the jit, but he just gets grabbed and Pride's like, are you guys serious? This was your plan? Nah, I actually have no idea what that nigga was trying to do. Then he starts goddamn earthbending and puts the little dude in a ball of straight darkness for the time being. Notice how I said for the time being? This dude pulls up with the absolute drip, electrocutes bro, and then frees pride. This man just freed the child reincarnation of Satan. Oh yeah, he ate that nigga too. Gap jokes incoming. I kid you not, there are free drinks in the description. Mm. I partnered up with J Slash Energy Drink Company Gamer Subs. Mm. This shit tastes mad good and gives you hella energy. But not like too much energy where like, <laughs> it's like, it's literally the perfect amount. Mm. If you use my code WULU in the description, you get free shipping. Mm. And with that, don't tell nobody. But if you get the free sample pack with my free shipping code, you can try it out, see if you like it entirely for free. It helps support the channel. Link in the description. All right, back to the video. Yeah! At the tuning exams, he was fighting with Rock Lee. This jit right here is the straight hand specialist. Bro got no songs where you gotta be doing all this. Rock Lee's over here swinging on him, doing the absolute most. And Gar is just chilling with his arms crossed. I don't get it. Why is he only using Taijutsu? Well, you see, Lee has no ninjutsu. So that nigga's weak? Anyway, so after like three minutes of him getting his ass whooped, Lee decides it's time to take off the goddamn weight he's been wearing to box. And you see... 
That's when my dick got hard. His punch finally broke through the sand, made Gara goddamn shit himself. Nigga decided it was time to turn into goddamn Sonic, started bouncing all around, and then hit him with the silliest axe kick ever. But don't forget, this section's not about Rock Lee. This man, Gara, gets back up and is genuinely tweaking off on Burk 30. Rock Lee's not done cooking yet, though. He kicks this man into the air and starts defying the laws of gravity, wraps this nigga up like a mummy, and RKO's this nigga to the Shadow Realm. Did... Did he just kill him? Nah, it's just a prank, bro. Gara slithered up behind him, giggling. Bro started trolling the hell out of him, just tossing his ass around. But Rock Lee was not about to go out sad like that. So he starts powering up like he's about to go Super Saiyan. Kids go into the sky, and once again starts violating him mid-air. I think it's safe to say that Kid Rock Lee could have been the fucking main character. Oh shit, I actually have to put my hands up. Nah, where do you think you're going? Oh, what? Oh. You know what, nah. Fuck Gara. Rock Lee's a demon. He only lost that fight because he ran out of chakra and he was up against a goddamn Jinchuriki. Sasuke. Sasuke, no, I love you. Don't go. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Alright, so Rock Lee's fighting this Make-A-Wish kid, Kimamaro. Imagine being a whole ass ninja and getting your ass whooped by tuberculosis. Anyway, so Rock Lee starts doing Rock Lee activities, gives this man the sky uppercut of his life. He starts trying to connect with another punch, Weep. but then gets weaved. And as Kimi Kardashian is about to slice him, he goes, Chill, hold on, hold on, let me get lit off the henny. And he just gets completely wasted. Impossible just looking at bro like, Is this nigga serious? Oh yeah, those hands are definitely serious. Drunk off the henny, he starts throwing them combos at him. And then passes the fuck out. What the hell? What is wrong with this nigga? Whatever, let me just up my KD real quick. Ha ha, got your ass! Mink, 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 pick up! If I pulled my dick out right now, what would you do? You wouldn't do shit. Oh, I'll really do. Is is he for real asleep this time? Weave, weave, weave. Weave, 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 weave. This nigga Lee is so disrespectful. Bro is half awake, whooping this dude's ass. Like, this isn't even a boxing match no more. This nigga is breakdancing. Take this, Yeezy slide attack. Rah! Those aren't even real Yeezys. Weave, weave. <laughs> Weave, weave. I can't lie, I don't even know how to commentate this fight no more, bro. This nigga's just doing shit. After getting styled on that hard, Kimimaru starts popping bones out of his body. That shit was so nasty and weird, it sobers up Lee immediately. And Lee couldn't hold him anymore. Lee gotta start fighting drunk more often, bro. Man, thank y'all so much for 100k. I'm launching a second channel where y'all can get to know me more. I'm gonna do gaming, reaction, all type of shit on there, bro. Go check it out in the description. Love y'all. Peace. Pizza!